<laughs> we will forego all standard couple TV banter. My Nobody. name is Jonathan. This wife, we eat snacks now. Hey, internet, this is Geekish. My name is Jonathan, and this is my wife, Tiffany. Hello. So, a bit of a different video. Not doing a Let's Play, not doing a news video, not doing a coverage of any particular thing. I thought it would be fun to share with you my love of interesting snacks. Specifically, interesting Asian snacks. Uh, there is a website that I like to go to. I usually put a big order in once or twice a year. It's called AsianFoodGrocer.com. Not a sponsor, but I will put a link in the description if you'd like to visit the site yourself. Uh, so we're gonna do like a lot of people do on the internet these days and on YouTube. We're gonna answer some questions regarding each other and talk about some stuff and we're gonna eat some interesting snacks, some of which you may have experienced or have had yourself. They're not that unusual if you're at all into other countries' foods, specifically uh, Japan or Asia. Uh, some of them sound a bit weird. I got some specifically that because they were unusual. So uh, we'll try these out and see how they go. So what do you wanna do first? I feel like we should start off more normal. Okay. First up, let's go with the Pocky. This is matcha green tea Pocky. Can I show it? We already ate the chocolate ones. Yes. Uh, if you've never had Pocky before, um, it is sort of a cookie stick, I guess is the best way of describing it. And it's coated usually in chocolate is the normal kind, but it comes in all kinds of different flavors. It's very popular. You can actually get this in the US. I've seen it at Walmart, so not this particular kind. Uh, chocolate kind. Strawberry, I think you can also get pretty easily. It's pretty good. So, comes in a little stick. As you can see. Yeah, here you go. All right, so this is what it is. It's a little cookie stick with the uh, green tea matcha goo on the end. Oh, that smells really strong. Mm-hmm, smells really good, tastes good. I love matcha flavored everything, basically. So these are right up. Yeah, I want one of those smoothies. Right? From, um, There's a smoothie place pulp. nearby, Pulp. Also not a sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> I get the green tea smoothie every time, matcha green tea. So That's good. good. Mm -hmm. Matcha is so weird. It's kind of like grass, but it tastes good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it definitely has because it's tea. You know, it's got that that leafiness. I guess you could say. But it's good. I love it. Very good. Recommend. You want to lay in the trumpet? No. <laughs> right, you would. You never like doing that. So that's good. I'm just kidding. All right, oh, keeper of the questions, what do you got? What's our first question? How did we meet? So we met, we met because of choir, but you weren't in the choir. A choir, yes. Music sort of roundaboutly brought us together because I met his sister in the community college choir I was singing in. Sure. Um, and then she tried to fix me up with you. That took a while. <laughs> I'm weird. You may not have noticed that. We met at the at the Bible study your dad was doing. Yes. So um, that's where we met. I was like not really interested, not really looking, I'm like whatever. Um, and then not at that point, <laughs> during this time, her boyfriend broke up with her, and then she said, "Do you know any guys?" And I said, "Well, there's my brother." So I have an older brother. She's the younger sister. To we you. swapped younger so sisters. So what we did? What or, yes, from my perspective, <laughs> we swapped brothers. So um, we, they started dating yes. in the fall, and then we met in the summer, and then we started dating a couple, literally a couple weeks after they started yeah, something dating. Something like that. And the four of us would hang out a lot before they had kids. <laughs> we still hang out. We still hang out. So. We're busy. We still hang out. Um, but yeah, so it was it was a really fun time because we had the four of us like built in double dates, and we'd just go for walks and things and talk and. It was, a, it was a good time. It was a good time. We were always the goofy, goofier ones. Well, this is true, but I'm involved, <laughs> so anytime I'm involved, it's going to be inherently more unusual. All right, next snack. Oh. All right, next up we have Hello Panda, also matcha flavor, Hello continuing Panda. with the theme. Uh, I've had these before. Again, you can get these in chocolate. Um, is the more normal flavor. Uh, we already I, ate those too. Yes, we already ate those too. I think you can get these kind of in the US, depending on where you look. Um, now these are like the opposite of the Pocky, whereas Pocky was a stick. This is uh, it's like a round, oh, the green, Little I didn't notice that. They're like, a, they're like a rounded cookie biscuit filled with a flavored goo. And I did not realize that the actual are biscuits green. are green. Now they also have little like imprinted, um, baked in pictures of pandas doing like various sports. I actually because, had these before. Why not? These ones I haven't had, but oh, they're matcha flavored. I don't remember so. if I've had these. 
Mm, let's have a different. It's spicy. Yeah, a little bit of a spicy. It's like to it. chai. A little bit. Yeah. I'm a fan. I've not had these before. These are good. I'm just gonna keep this for later. <laughs> We're trying not to eat a whole bunch of any one because we got a decent little pile of things to try. So food makes me happy. <laughs> All right, next question. What was your first impression of me? First impression. You want the actual answer, the one that makes me look good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, well, I was in a weird place at the time, actually, when we first met you, because I've, I've, I've always wanted to get married. This is born. <laughs> kind of a thing with me ever since I was a little kid. Um, but I have uh, not had great luck in terms of the dating world. Um, so I was kind of in a weird place with that. I had kind of, not not given up, but I'd been like, you know what, God brings somebody to my life. If I find somebody, it's cool. If not, you know, we'll deal with that later. Um, and then Dina brings you to our Bible study. I don't remember if she told me she was bringing you to the Bible study or not. I don't remember at this point. It's, it's a little fuzzy. Yeah. It was 10 years ago. Um, but I remember seeing you and I was like, hmm, this is a random girl who was not in my life a little bit ago. She's cute. I don't, I don't know if I know this. <laughs> yeah. Well, because I don't really remember, really. I know. A long I, time don't, ago. I don't remember. I, you know, I remember, oh, she's cute. I remember, I remember thinking, like, at least I'll, I'll try and, like, just meet her. See what happens. Usually in my experience what happens is I meet a girl and we become friends and then nothing else ever happens. It's just, you know, the way it goes. Uh, this time actually seemed to work out. I mean, I think from the get-go I had it, like, in my head, like, this... This guy's available because <laughs> because she had put it in my head, you know. That's true. You came in with the idea of like, this is a dude. I don't actually remember if my sister told me that she was being like for this express purpose. Well, know. we'll have to ask her. I wonder if she remembers. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, she she was all she was all about that. You guys should get together. I'm like, no, it's okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> you weren't who I saw myself with, but it turned out good. So I said it was the best idea she ever had. So. <laughs> you you just can't, he can't wouldn't stop that. being funny and charming, so it you know. I mean I'll run out eventually. Let's do red the bean. red bean mochi. Yes, it's a Japanese style red bean mochi. Now mochi. I love mochi. I, I'm not entirely certain what it is. I'm pretty sure it's like a rice uh, dough pastry stuff. Um, filled oh, yeah, with, what is filled it? Filled with yeah, I don't even know. Um, this what particular one is filled with sweet red bean paste, which I don't remember the Japanese term for, um, but it is what it sounds like. It's a paste made out of sweet red beans. Which um, sounds not good. It does not sound great, I admit. But it is. But it's amazing. So this is sweet red bean mochi. There you go. That Cute. one. It's a little white. It, they're so dense. They're so heavy for their size, but they're soft. Like they, they these are a little cold because they're just in the fridge. They're so but, pillowy. But yeah, they just look like, like that. And they're just full of this. Mmm. See? See that? That's what it looks like. So good. It's um I can't even describe the flavor exactly. It's, it re it reminds me of iced tea, like kind of sweet iced tea. Yeah. Like it's put sort of earthy, but it's sweet. And a little beanie. <laughs> yeah. Earthy. It's actually, it doesn't... And beanie. It doesn't really taste particularly... I'm getting white. There's like powdered sugar on these. I'm getting mm -hmm. it all over me. Um, there's definitely like an earthiness to it. Not as much beanie as you think. Like, it doesn't taste like, say, lima beans or anything like that. It's just a sweet red bean paste. What's the mochi question? Mochi question. If you could have a superpower, what superpower would you choose? Telekinesis. Oh, Easy question. Right. I've already thought about this because I used to want, I still would, love I to be just, able to... Sorry, I really want to eat all of these right now. Why don't you put them away? Okay. <laughs> I would love to be able to fly. Like, seriously, if I could fly, that'd be the best thing. But a little while ago, I realized that asking for the power of flight or wishing for it is actually not the best option because if you can fly, yeah. that's all you can do, which is cool. But if I have a powerful telekinetic ability, which is, you know, the ability to move things with your mind, then I could fly and move things with my mind, so it's better. So two for the price of one. Yeah, Jean Grey from X Men, but without the crazy 
craziness. Um, <laughs> what about you? I don't want to fly because I'm afraid of heights. Well, you wouldn't be if you could fly. <laughs> I don't know. You can't you fall. Don't know. You don't know my brain. That <laughs> <It> wouldn't help. <laughs> um, no, I can I pick teleportation? Because that would be Literally so handy. Like, is that a superpower? Yeah, it's Nightcrawler. Also from X-Men. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know X-Men very well. <laughs> But um, that would be so handy. Although kind of the Nightcrawler is fairly short range, but I'd just like pop over to the Edinburgh Art Festival. <laughs> I'd just like go to go to Somerset in a snap. Like just go go to all the harp festivals. Not have to waste gas. It'd be amazing. <laughs> That's why one of the reasons why flight would be so cool. I'd just uh, go someplace and be cool. Yeah, but then this way I wouldn't have to actually fly and carry luggage. It would be hard to carry luggage and fly. Well, yeah, the flight would not be for like if we're taking a family trip to, you know, the next country. Over. So, be like if I gotta go down somewhere, I can just... So I would like to be able to teleport myself and my luggage. Brown sugar mochi. That looks really good. <laughs> that looks amazing. This is roughly the same thing. It looks like it's covered in something. It looks amazing. I mean, not brown sugary or powdered sugary. I mean, it might be brown sugar. Obviously the inside's brown sugar. Do you like my mochi? <laughs> Ooh, you smell that? It was almost like coffee. Oh, it does smell like coffee. But That's not happy. Brown style sugar. I don't like coffee. Does it have any coffee in it? I'm a hot chocolate person. It does have red beans, so maybe it's actually still full of red bean, but it is. I haven't seen any coffee, so. It, yeah, it really smells it does, like It does coffee. have like a coffee-ish smell. So this is mm. basically the same, but it's very brown. Which makes sense, it's brown sugar, so let's give it a Ooh, it's so, it's so it's squishy. Yes. I love how squishy this is. But man, that smells like coffee. Wow. That's interesting. Again, there's no coffee on here. This is artificial flavor. I mean, maybe it does, but it says it in Japanese, so I'm out of luck. <laughs> <laughs> this is brown sugar mochi. Mm. What genre of movie is your favorite? Well, and what's your favorite movie in that genre? That's a hard one because I like movies. I know, me too. It's, it's I mean, hard to say because Admittedly, my, you probably like more genres than I do. My least favorite is probably sports movies because I'm not a big sports person. So. See, I don't really like sports either, but I, I'm a kind of a fan of sports movies. Well, I like some sports movies. You know, like, because they're really not about sports, they're about life. <laughs> well, the, the ones that are not technically yeah. about sports, really. The ones where the sports is like the setting, like The Replacements is an amazing movie. Um, I haven't seen that one. That one's good. I'd like to remember The Titans, but it was a long time. Yeah. Anyway, uh, favorite movie style. I don't know if I really have a favorite genre. I don't know if I have a yeah. favorite movie. I like movies too much. There's like so many different kinds. I, 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 like. I feel like the same... Um, I'm kind of the same with movies as with music. Like, I, I couldn't tell you, like, this is my favorite pop artist. I just like this song, and I like this song, and I like this song, mm -hmm. and I like this movie, and I, yeah. It also depends on what I'm in the mood for. Like, I love... Yeah. The only style of music that I really don't care for much <clears throat> is, like, country music. And even then, I still like the occasional country song, depending on what it is. Uh, but it really depends on what I'm in the mood for. Cause some days, some days I want to, like, put on some classical and listen to that, and it's nice. Some days I'm like, give me some just some rock and metal and just gonna, you know, rock it out all day. It just depends how I feel. Same thing with movies in a lot of ways. It's like, what do I feel like watching today? But yeah, I don't think I have a particular favorite. I definitely don't have a favorite genre because that's that's all. It's about the stories more than anything else. Yeah. I mean, I like period movies. I guess. I'll, I'll probably like if you give me a period movie, I'll probably like it. I guess it's. I don't know. Is that a thing? Say what period? <laughs> <laughs> Like a Jane Austen. Well, people know what they. Thing. People generally know what you mean yeah. when you say period. Like technically, a movie set in the 1920s could be a period movie, but well, nobody yeah. would call it a period movie. Yeah, any, <laughs> yeah, his historical Jane Austeny type things. Those can be good. I've, I've watched those more since I've been with you, since you like. Yeah, you liked Emma. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the ones I've watched, I don't like all of those stories because those. Those, some of those, that time period sometimes would drive me crazy to actually live in it, but some of those stories are worth Yeah. Me. We like superhero movies, though. Yes, but that's not my favorite. Really? Yeah, I, I don't really have a favorite genre. Besides, well, genre, only yeah. recently with the Marvel movies have the, have the superhero genre of movies been any good. But there are standouts, you know, there was the Nolan Batmans, those were good. I'm a big Batman fan. Um, no! Right? Um, but a lot of older uh, superhero-style movies were just garbage. <laughs> just terrible stuff. 
What's your favorite Marvel movie? Favorite Marvel movie? Probably gonna have to go with with Endgame. Um, combined with Infinity War, but mostly towards the Endgame. That's Nothing else, my just for the too. just because of the portal scene is so good. Avengers. Assemble. <laughs> I think of them Ten as, years plus worth of culmination yeah. is just, yeah! <laughs> I kind of have to think of them as one movie. Yeah. It's just a part one and part two. Yeah. Next one. Let's do a chips. Do a chip? Okay, we'll do a, a chips. chips. Well, I miss arguably not a chip, but all right. It's like bugles. These are bugles. Oh, they are bugles. Literally bugles. Oh, they are literally These bugles. are, from what I remember, these are chili chicken bugles, I think. Like, I have the order sheet Stop. here, double check. That actually sounds really Chili good. Chili chicken flavored Cheeto. Cheetos bolt uh, bugles, yeah. Although it's spilled. Good night. Woo! I mean, let's smell these. Ooh, those smell. Those kind of smell like. Um, I dropped it. Bugles mixed with like ramen. Hey, you know, American bugles, you can't fit on your finger anymore. I've noticed. What? Well, this one. Look at that can. one, you can't. But I can never get any of them. Anyway. Oh, that is... Ooh, spicy. Hit you. That's not good. I mean, that's not bad. <laughs> that is good. It actually does kind of taste like chicken ramen. Oh, yeah. But in a good way, because I don't actually like chicken ramen. Ooh, there's some spice to it. Mm. I can eat that bag. See, I don't actually care for Google as much now that I'm older, but those are good. If you could be friends with a character from any book, who would it be? Any book. Probably, you know, assuming that it's the same, like our current time period and the same ages and whatnot as, as they're in the book, I'd probably be a bit older. Yeah. I'd probably go with Mary Lennox, the main character from The Secret Garden. My favorite book, read it a million times. She just, I don't know, seems nice. Well, later in the book. Well, yeah, but that's kind of the point. <laughs> you, you grow and you want, progress. You want to meet her the at characters. the end of the book. Yeah, well, you, wanna, you always want to meet the characters <laughs> as they progress, not just like in their garbage. You know, uh, I mean, I like to meet a lot of people in various books. It'd be kind of cool, but but she just has a good she has good character growth over the course of the story. She really becomes her own person. By you, Aslan. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's that. <laughs> but also, no, I, I I could get along with Anne from Anne of Green Gables. She'd drive you insane, the, but I oh I, she I, would I oh gosh, <laughs> so annoying. <laughs> Any version. It doesn't matter what movie. It doesn't awesome. matter. Oh, she's so tiresome. Like, I, okay. She seems nice. And I wouldn't hate her, but I'd be done with her real quick. <laughs> uh, again, later, if she grows up a little bit. Yeah, maybe like 10 years after the book's over. And she's, you know, there, like. There are several books, so I'm just saying. Uh, point being, maybe when she's in her <laughs> 20s and she's chilled out a little bit. Oh, God. She's so dramatic. It's like. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a favorite author? Again, I don't think I have a favorite favorite yeah. author. I saw that I like very much. I, I love Brandon Sanderson. I love um, Adrian Tchaikovsky, uh, author of the Shadows of the App series. Not as well known an author, but those books are fantastic. Oh, you know what? I want to be friends with Meg from Little Women. Yeah, that could work. We would get along. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd babysit her kids. <laughs> <laughs> Those are like, I think they're like ramen flavored, like pork belly ramen flavored chips. I, I don't actually know. It says laksa, I don't know what that is. They looked interesting, so we bought them. <laughs> there, there is they're corn like cor on the back. Yeah, well, because they're like a corn stick. With a hat. Yes. Gorilla corn, laksa flavored. Okay. So I don't, I have no idea what this is actually supposed to taste like, but it looked interesting, so we'll give it a shot. Oh, we're supposed to, sorry, I'm trying to open this up. This has got one of them. Ooh. That is- Fancy. I have no idea what that's supposed to smell like. Old socks? I haven't thought that bad. Oh, it's shaped like Cheetos. Yeah, kind of. Not bad. I have no, I, I still don't know what it's supposed to taste like. It tastes, it tastes like, um. Ooh, a little spicy. Creeps up on you. Okay, hold on. Let me Google Laksa. Well, Google Laksa. L O C K? L A K S A. Okay, never mind. <laughs> L A K S A. I mean, I'll eat these. A little spicy. 
soup. Spicy noodle soup, popular in the something I'm not gonna try to pronounce. Yeah, yeah, so it's pretty much what I thought, so. Thick wheat noodles or rice vermicelli with chicken, prawn, or fish. Serves a spicy soup base on either rich or spicy curry, coconut milk, or sour assam. Assam. I'm not sure. These are good though. I like these. It, it, yeah. is a, it is a unique flavor. What is your favorite food? Favorite food? Yes. It, it can be like an ethnic food. Like hmm. I like Mexican. Or it can be a dish. Well, I mean, if I had to pick one food to, like, you can only eat this for the rest of your life, I'd probably go with pizza, because I love pizza. But I also love, like, a good steak. I love, like, a good bowl of real ramen. It's mm. so good. It's so hard to find where I live. There's a there's a noodle shop. There's a ramen shop downtown that I went to. It's so good. I got the pork, Take me there. I got the pork belly ramen. Oh, so good. So I love that. Um, I like Taco Bell. <laughs> Give me a good lasagna. Um, Ooh, lasagna. Good pan fried I'm hungry. chicken. We haven't had dinner yet. Yeah, like, this is um, also true. We're just pre, we're pre gaming our dinner. Uh, good burger. I, I like food. Like, <laughs> but one of the things I say is I like simple food. This is. I need to move this. I'm just gonna eat it. <laughs> I like simple. I like not necessarily simple, but uncomplicated. No, that's not a good description either. Unpretentious food. That's the good no. thing. Because we know that like the modern trend now is like let's make burgers. We're gonna make it out of like. 12 grain artisanal rolls with, you know, Kobe beef burger patty and like quinoa. And it's like just like burger, burger, bread, and you and, and you know, ketchup, cheese, and you can get like good quality versions of those. Sure. But you don't, don't, it's a <laughs> burger for heaven's sake. Every red blooded American knows that the only condiment you are ever supposed to put on a hamburger is ketchup! sauce you like so much here in Canada, which I think has a little bit of mayonnaise in it too. But I swear to God, when they start slapping that mayonnaise on there, I could kill somebody. Mm. But wasn't that on our honeymoon when we went to that fancy schmancy restaurant mm. and we ordered that burgers? Because and they were was not a cheap place. literally a like, it was like an unseasoned, unseasoned beef, beef patty. patty on a ciabatta roll. Which was the fancy part. It wasn't good. I don't even remember if they even had cheese. It was probably like $10 or something. Each. It was <laughs> minimum. It was, yeah, I don't, we I don't were, remember cheese. I we, just remember we like we a stupid- We were phenomenally unimpressed is what we were. <laughs> so these are gummies. This is an assortment of various Yummy. flavored gummies, or fruit flavors. I'm excited about these. I enjoy gummy. Gummy bears are probably one of my favorite candies, specifically Haribo. Gold. I think these are individually wrapped. I, I think you're open enough. I think you're good. Yes, they are. <laughs> Ooh, they're good. We can see what flavors they are. Just dump some are. out. Just dump some out in a haphazard fashion. Uh, they're only two colors. Well, that doesn't mean. Yeah. Okay, so we've got we've got strawberry. Mm -hmm. We have mango. mango. Uh, we have lychee, which is like a citrusy <coughs> thing. I think. I think that I think there's kiwi in there somewhere, maybe. But that's it. That's all of them. Oh, that's all of them. Okay, yeah, so we got lychee, we got mango, yeah. and we got uh, strawberry. I'm gonna go with lychee, because I've never had lychee before. Okay, I'll do that too. Okay, it is, okay, I was expecting pink. <laughs> it's more of a champagne color. <laughs> smells good. It's not floral. Whoa. Yeah, it's very floral. Oh, it's kind of weird. Ooh. Oh, that's good though. Hmm. That's good. Like the smell was almost rose yeah. water. Yeah. But the taste was a lot more. Um, it tastes kind of fizzy. It does. I'm not sure how something can taste fizzy, but I it know, does. I feel like there's bubbles in this. Now we have some questions that we're going to answer for each other. Oh, okay. Newly, so. Newlywed game style. Style. Without writing them down. You're not going to like flip up a card. Well, I mean, not all these are that way. Like, who is who is more introverted? Who is more extroverted? Of us too. Well, it depends on your definition, but generally speaking, I'm more introverted and you're more extroverted. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, I don't have I don't have like social anxiety or anything, but I prefer to stay home most of the time. That's, that's how I recharge. Just give me my alone time. Give me a book. Give me a movie. Give me a video game and like a couple hours by myself at least. I mean, I like that too, but usually if there's something going on, I don't want to miss out. I so don't, I, I don't do care. that. <laughs> you don't care. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I like hanging out with people. I mean, but you a lot do, of times but... I'd rather just stay home. Cause... Yeah. I don't need other people. I don't like people having fun without me. <laughs> this is this is true. <laughs> who is more optimistic and who is more pessimistic? <laughs> is this a question? <laughs> Hello, pessimist. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try this. 
This is mango bread. No, it's melon bread. Melon bread, not mango, you're right. This is melon bread. <laughs> uh, we already had one of these and I it's got so two. good. <laughs> I love these, so there's some of these I got because I've had them before. And I just, you just want to take them. a piece off? Yeah, just rip a chunk. Now this is basically what it sounds like. It's bread, but it's, you know, it's flavored. I'm gonna need to wash my hands. It's so it's soft sticky. and pillowy. Well, on the, on the very top. The, the interior is pretty dense. Probably, I mean, I want to give them the benefit mm. of the doubt. This may have been like less dense. I like the top a little of it. Less, a little more, a little less dry on the inside, like when it was brand new in Japan, but it's imported, so. Mm. So good. These remind me of the Hostess orange cupcakes. Mm. Yeah, I can see Without that. the filling. Especially the top. The oh. top is like frosting almost. Yeah, I should like. Mm -hmm. That's what it looks like. It's all torn up now. I want to eat all of it. <clears throat> okay, I have one that's different for you and different for me. Okay. So yours is, what is, what is my favorite song to play right now, or a song I'm working on? That's not fair. <laughs> I don't know any of the titles of the stuff that you play. <laughs> I recognize when you play stuff. Like I, like I've heard that before, but I couldn't, yeah. even, I couldn't even repeat it back to you. Like, yeah. Do you play oh, a lot of stuff and you do repeat? Although, I know. although, <clears throat> I, actually, rewrite the stars. I have been playing that a lot. You play a lot. When you're just playing on your harp for fun, <clears throat> you play that a lot. That's one you recognize. Yeah. What book am I working on? So currently you're working on that one with the guy that's on the wall. <laughs> <laughs> that's not a fair question. I should say what, what writing project am I working on? Because technically <clears throat> it's a novelette. <laughs> okay, fine. Be Mr. Specific. Yeah. But no, you're it's right. still a book. No, it's not. A novel. I mean, I guess it's still, still a book. A, arguably a book. It's just not a, it's just not a novel. It's too short. Get out of here. <laughs> no, yeah. Um, the current project is called Night Watch. Um, okay. I didn't I didn't remember the title. But you're right. It's, uh, See, I don't know the title of your books either. There's it's one two called words. <laughs> there's one called First. Is that still called First? Yeah. That's but that that's a back burner story, but yeah. That, and then there's that's, one with the um, um, uh, the air who guy. Yeah, the that's a song, song of, of something. Song of air. Okay, that, that, one. that needs a lot of reworking. So that's 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 like third back burner at the moment. This is more red bean paste. These are they look like little, little bagels. Kind of. Uh, I was gonna get some larger ones, but then I found that like a seven pack. It's not coffee, that's the beans. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't like, like coffee. coffee. She's like, coffee! I got solid packaging. Oh. Yeah, that's sweet right me. I feel, I, feel, I feel the softness. Oh, they are kind of like little... Feel they got, the they kind of look like little bagels. They got little dents in them. I didn't little, notice that. Little buns. They smell good. We, did, oh, we didn't get any pork buns from... Mm. What's, what's it called? What is your favorite ice cream flavor? You have to tell me mine, I have to tell you yours. Oh, okay. Take the guess. Why don't you go first? Is that really the question? It's probably like peanut butter. Nope. Wait, hold on. Strawberry? Nope. Is it like kind of obscure? Nope. It's probably one of the single most popular ice cream flavors that exists. Vanilla? Nope. Is there something in it? Yes. I should know this. You really should. <laughs> what do you get? What do you get with ice cream? Don't think of like if I'm getting a cone. Think about like if we got a tub. Buckeye. No. You could dunk it in milk. Oh, duh. <laughs> Cookies and cream. Yes. <laughs> I like a lot of ice cream, but cookies and cream is always going to be my absolute favorite ice cream. See, it's okay, but I'm, I feel like I'm kind of tired of it. Like, there's other stuff I'd oh, rather I have. Cookies and cream. There's different kinds of cookies and cream, too. Like, really? Well, I mean, different brands and such. Like, if you ever get, like, a really good top-tier cookies and cream, it's delicious. <clears throat> it's so creamy and... Cookie. 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 <laughs> okay, what's mine? Excuse me. Hmm. Probably... Probably changes, like, weekly. This is also true. Because um, <laughs> you're, you're often fond of, several of favorites. vanilla, but... I would say it's your I like favorite. vanilla with stuff in it. Which is true. Um, Rather than chocolate. I think you like moose tracks. I do like moose tracks. Um, That's one of them. Good job. Do you like mint chocolate ice cream? I do, but it's probably not my favorite. Yeah. Um, so 
something with brownies in it would probably work. Mm. Anything that has chocolate that isn't chocolate. Buckeyes. Buckeyes. These little thingies. Capnico. Little candy ice cream. Speaking of which, little ice cream cone thing. How appropriate. Apropos. I, I've never had these before. I've seen them, but I, oh, I I've know. never uh, actually had it. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> They come like in little, little, it's a little pill case. cupcake things. They look like mini cupcakes. They smell very sweet. Oh, yeah. Right? Right. Ooh. Those smell like... Uh, can we get them can out? Can we even get them That's out? That's the question. Oh! It literally is like a little cupcake. Oh, it's so cute. Yeah, just push the box. The, the box. Push the, <laughs> push the box. <laughs> that smells like it's going to be sweet. This looks... Ooh. Hmm. Oh. Not bad. Actually, not as sweet as I thought. Yeah. What's that? Oh, that tastes like something. What's that taste like? We better try another one. Yeah. You literally pop the back up like a pill too. It's hilarious. You just... <laughs> it's um. It's like. <laughs> oh no! Okay. Five second rule. What does that taste like? Hmm. Hot tastes like a Hershey's Kiss. A little. Mm. The texture is totally different. It's more soft. If your spouse could go anywhere in the world right now, where would it be? Where would I go? Scotland or Ireland or England, somewhere in that region. Probably Scotland. Yeah. Probably Isle of Skye. Mm. You would go to Japan. Probably. Any particular place? Uh, probably just Tokyo to start, although I wouldn't mind checking out Okinawa or um, some of the southern islands. I always wanted to go to Japan, but I want to learn some Japanese first, so I don't be an idiot walking around asking for directions. Thankfully, they speak English in Scotland. Well, oh, it's Scotland. Somewhat. I was going to say, not as much as you might think. But in Scotland, definitely, yeah. Okay, so this is probably the single weirdest thing that we found. It's, was it lychee sparkling soda flavored Lay's potato chips? I... I yeah. can't expect to like these, but I, I, they they were the weirdest thing on the site that I could find. I mean, they, it doesn't smell bad. Yeah, they smell pretty good, actually. I mean, if lychee is kind here. of citrus, are we even saying it right? I'm assuming. Probably not. I mean, it smells like a weirdly sweet chip, honestly. Whoa! That is... Tangy! That is interesting. Did you just like put it on your tongue? Just put it on your tongue. No. You're not, you're not getting that? No. I, maybe I got I mean, like they're a, good. a spice They're pocket. weirdly good. But that is an unusual flavor. They like tingle on your tongue. And don't you get that? Oh, yeah. It, it's like fizzy. It's the sparkling soda. Yeah. Oh, those are weirdly good. Like, uh huh. I was expecting that to be gross. But so like, far, I don't hate anything. Oddly good. What is the fastest way to make me happy? <clears throat> give, you, give me a new video game. <laughs> I mean, that would probably work if it, was, if it was one I wanted. Yeah. I'm. I'm actually pretty. I'm pretty easy to please. Like. You. Yeah. I don't need a lot. Like, you. You probably know the fastest way to make me happy. Food. Yay! <laughs> Specifically, Taco Bell. <laughs> Give me food and a movie, and I'm good. Yeah, right, so this is ramune. They're so cute. Specifically, it's lychee flavored, because that was the weirdest <coughs> flavor they had. There's three, um, right? Or we just try, we just try Yeah, we're just trying this, and we got okay. some other flavors. We got uh, melon flavored and, our, and other kinds. They come in all kinds of flavors. Kiwi. Now, these are interesting. <coughs> if you've never had these before, I mean, generally speaking, it's just soda. It's just flavored yeah. soda, but the reason ah. that it's weird Okay, the reason that it's weird is how you open it. Ooh. So this tears off this plastic bit. And you have this, you're wondering why the bottle is shaped like this. Um, this is on top. Pop this out. It's a lot of work to really think about it, but it's all for the novelty. Let me do it. Oh, I was gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> okay, so there's, I don't know if you can tell, but there's a glass marble, a glass bead that is shoved up in the top here. Like, it won't come out. Um, and this holds it in place. What you do is you take this thing, you put it on top. You can do it. And you You're just better at it. bamf it down and it knocks the marble inside. And that's why this is shaped like this so it doesn't fall down inside. So I guess I'll do it here. Mm -hmm. Now, when you do this, 
And you can get these all over the place in America though too, actually. Um, depending on where you are. Um, when you do these, if you ever get one of these, when you whap it down, you have to do it with some gusto. And, I'm gonna let you do it. And you hold it down. <laughs> Because if you don't hold it down, it'll probably, if you can even, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but it's fizzing right now, it's a soda. <laughs> it will foam up if you're not careful, so I will, I like to just put my hand on it and then whap my hand. That's like the easiest way to do it, so. Okay, and then this you just throw away. So the barble has fallen inside. The barble? Marble. The barble has fallen inside. And these little, like, uh, little dents here that keep it from folding out when you, when you tip it back. So, let me, uh, see how this tastes. Ooh, yeah, that's good, but that is interesting. That lychee, lychee, whatever flavor. Hmm. It's like a raspberry-ish sort of a, are you okay? Since we're eating Asian snacks and we're gonna watch a Ghibli movie. Yes. What's your favorite Ghibli movie? You have to you have to guess mine, I have to guess yours. Okay, your favorite Ghibli movie is probably, oh, I know this one. Yeah. It's when Marnie was there. <laughs> I go very far from the mansion. Good movie. It just makes me feel so good. <laughs> nice movie. It's she's, very cathartic she, she's movie. She's a little annoying at first, but that's kind of the point. You know, she gets better. It's a very cathartic movie. <laughs> yours actually, oh wait, we just talked about this. What was yours? Yeah. Uh, well, it's a, no, it's a bit of a toss up. There's one that stands out, but it's a bit of a toss up. Oh, Kiki's. Yeah. Kiki's Delivery Kiki's Service. Delivery Service is up there. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> That's my favorite, favorite. It's probably either Kiki's or Howl's. Howl's Moving Castle. This way. So, that was our snack and questions video. If you liked what you saw, please hit that like button, maybe even subscribe. If you do subscribe, and hit that bell so you get all the updates. I will leave a link to the website where we got all this stuff in the description, as well as any other pertinent information. I'll leave a link to your YouTube channel in the description as well. Thanks. Thanks everybody for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.